Studied on Leap, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at York Wind Bethnal Green today for the Frank Warren Show. With me, just got his second professional win. I've got top boxer Umar Sadiq. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Is that the way I chuck the uh, TSB in there? Yeah, that's it, man. That's nice. TBS. Your own shirt. Your own shirts. My own shirts. I wish I was on your level. Sunglasses inside. <laughs> two and zero, and the game's changed. Uh, two, well, I've had this from before my debut. To be fair, um, I just looked around. Everyone had t-shirts. I didn't quite like that idea of wearing a t-shirt. So I made shirts. Fair play, like yeah. um, Good performance tonight. Strong performance. Thank um, you very much. How did you feel in there? I felt good. Yolton Nevers is an awkward opponent. I've seen him before. Um, the first good thing I could take away from the fight was that. He wasn't able to move around the ring like he usually does, so uh, I guess I cut the ring off well enough. Knocked him down in the first round, and um, he did very well to stay in there. I think um, the experience showed in you know lasting and whatnot. But um, marked him up, cut him, dropped him. The only thing I didn't do was stop him. So um, I'll review the tapes and get to see exactly what it looks like. Get back in the gym with Brian O'Shaughnessy, my strength coach, and the rest of my team, and then work on what we do next. Obviously, Brian is a, is a man of few words in public. I don't know what he's like behind closed doors with you. I mean, he's does, he tell you, does he tell you? Does he tell you like where you're going wrong or what you're doing right? He does, but he's not. He, he's not very granular. So he sort of, um, like you said, few words. He'll just tell you. He'll give one or two liners, but um, they make sense. When you first start working with him, when I first started working with him, I used to think, "What the? F is he on about?" Yeah. But um, as you work with him more and more, you start to understand the language he's speaking. So. Um, it's good stuff. Yeah, sure to see code. Uh, yes, sure to see code, that's it. Um, obviously, Lawrence Acoli in the crowd, uh, yeah. top line, headline, the yeah, O2, yeah. in that massive fight, got the win, got the belt. Um, Training alongside him every day. Uh, mm -hmm. Does that make you want to strive and get that fast, get that high? Well, yeah, it's, I've always wanted to be fast tracked. Um, you know, I didn't start as young as the guys, but also I just feel like um, training camps are really hard. They break you down mentally and physically. And um, it, it, it it makes me feel like I'm putting my body through a lot to fight someone who isn't going to give me so much. Like obviously, I get more experience, but in terms of like the benefits you get from it, they're only limited. So, I quite like the idea of. Um... <laughs> That's <all> right, <laughs> Yeah, so I quite like the idea of you know being stepped up so that I'm putting my body through what I'm doing and um, making a sacrifice that I'm doing for something that I feel like is properly worth it. So, um, yeah, but to answer your question, Lawrence winning the title definitely made me want one even more. So it's good when someone is in the gym doing things better than you, you're doing or, uh, you know, at a higher level than you are at the time because, you know, iron sharpens iron or still sharpens steel or whatever the saying is. Yeah, I know you mentioned <laughs> um, Like I said, in the gym, are you going to go back in soon? I mean, you're really the start of the year. I mean, when are you looking to get out again? I would love to be on the card in April the 14th, Billy Joe Swan's oh, Arena. Well, and um, if Frank's listening or anyone from the promotions listening, I would absolutely kill it on tickets for that. Just to remember that. So um, I'd love to be on that, but um, you know, I've just boxed, so I don't really know what's going on. And I guess um, by Monday morning or afternoon, I'll get a better idea of what's going on. All right, mate. Well, TBS, uh, yeah. well done tonight. I'll thank you very much, man. Until then, thank you for having me. Enjoy the night.